Welcome to the video taking a look at drawing box plots. If you haven't already watched the first box plot video, what I suggest you do is you watch that before attempting this one. So here we're going to try to draw our own box plot given um, some information. So given the lowest value, lower quartile, median, upper quartile and highest value. So we need to represent this, these, this information using a box plot. So if we remember from the video before, our lowest value is represented by the beginning, or sorry, by the end of the whisker that comes out of the box. So we can see here that it goes, um, that we're going up by four each time. So two is going to be there. So the end of my whisker needs to end on two. Now the lower quartile, that's represented by the beginning of the box. So the beginning of the box, let's just do that. The beginning of the box is going to be at five. So I'm going to draw the beginning of my box there. That's the beginning of my box. Now the median, the median is a line that goes through the middle of the box. And that is at nine this time. So marking nine on here. and then the upper quartile the upper quartile is represented by the end of the box and the end of the box is at 11 so drawing on the end of box there then let's connect these together so I can start to get an idea of what it's going to look, at, look like so connecting these together the box plot is going to look a bit like this hopefully yours is looking a bit neater and then the highest value is 18 and that is represented by a line the end of the whisker that comes out of the box so the whiskers coming out of the box ending at 18 so my box plot diagram that represents this information would look like this